Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the stable version of Microsoft Edge is currently sitting on version 135. And recently Microsoft has rolled out the beta release of version 136, which will be our next stable release that will be rolling out in the week of the 1st of May. So I thought just a quick video to kind of see more or less what to expect in our next stable release, if you would be interested. And obviously this is subject to change because although beta is quite close to stable, it is still a preview version. So not everything that rolls out in a beta does make it to stable. And most of these features, Microsoft says, will be rolling out gradually. Now the first new feature Microsoft has rolled out in Edge version 136 beta is a change to the browser's updates alerting. Where updates to Microsoft Edge, they say, will now appear as a badge on the settings and more menu, which is the ellipsis menu or the main menu, as I like to call it. With Microsoft saying, this will make it easier to discover when a user can update their browser from the settings and more menu. So that will appear in the see more menu, the main menu, as a badge. And I actually think that's a nice move in the right direction. Now currently in Microsoft Edge, we have a browser essentials, which includes a performance section and a secure network, which is the VPN. Now this looks like it's all set to change. And I've been waiting for this feature to roll out in the Canary version, which it never did in my part of the world. But basically what's happening is browser essentials is being separated into two distinct features or experiences, as Microsoft likes to call it, where you will get your performance as a separate button on the toolbar and your secure network, your VPN, as its own button on the toolbar. And they will also be both available from the settings and more menus. So performance and secure network will also be listed in the main menu, not just as a shortcut. So for some reason, Microsoft is separating those um, the browser essentials into those two different sections. And then something that has already started to roll out in the stable version I posted a couple of months ago, but it looks like this is becoming the default, is Microsoft is changing how you find your Edge profile in the toolbar. Now what this basically means is for some currently in Microsoft Edge in the stable, you have an option in your appearance toolbar settings in the browser to move your profile to the top left, to the tab strip and the title bar. Now that's a change Microsoft made with Edge Project Phoenix as we were talking about um, last year, early last year as far as I can remember. And Microsoft is removing that option. And already, as I've posted previously, in some regions, the profile is now moved back to the toolbar by default. So basically, it started from right to left, and now it's moved from left to right back to its original location. And Microsoft says this is to increase visibility of tab titles, and they're moving the profile back to the toolbar. But that's already rolled out in some regions in the stable, but looks like it's becoming the default and becoming more widely available. And then something else that Microsoft is slowly rolling out and a lot of folks in the stable have already received this is they are elevating top settings and improving settings page navigability. With Microsoft saying that it isn't changing the functionality of any setting and all the settings stay on the same page but will be behind clickable sections. So the first of three main changes to the settings page, which as you can see already has rolled out in my region in the stable version. But once again, just like the profile seems to be coming more widely available. The first change is Microsoft is introducing quick access to the most used settings actions on the first place users land when entering edge settings, which is your profile page. So clicking your um, one of these buttons 
with the name of the setting obviously navigates users directly to its location as you can see in this example provided. And the second change they are making is they are making densely populated settings pages such as privacy search and services, cookies and site permissions and the appearance page easier to navigate by introducing quick access to the most used actions located on that page as we can see. And then the third change they are making to the settings page is for densely populated pages each lengthy section of settings is a clickable table of contents. So as an example toolbar you click on that it's, it's basically got its own table of contents and that also has descriptive subtexts and Microsoft says this helps you to locate settings directly and avoid unnecessary scrolling and I actually quite like these table of contents. I think they bring a nice kind of touch into the settings just to take away a lot of the clutter and just to make things a lot more minimal and easier to navigate. So that looks like that's becoming more widely available. And we also are going to be getting extensions in these settings. So Microsoft says it's enabling you to find extensions in the browser settings through the addition of extensions that will be added to the navigation menu. And that's very similar to what we get in Google Chrome. So if we just pop over to Chrome quickly, let's head to our settings. As you may well know, you get your extensions in that navigation menu of the Chrome settings. So that also looks like it's going to be coming to the Edge browser, which is currently not the case. And I actually think that's a nice touch as well. So guys, that's just a quick overview as more or less what to expect in our next stable release, which as mentioned, will be rolling out in the week of the 1st of May. So that will be the Thursday moving into the weekend. We'll get Edge version 136. But as mentioned, subject to change because it's still in preview so it doesn't mean everything i mentioned in this video will actually make it too stable but that will give us a good idea of more or less what to expect so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one